Module 1, Lesson 3, Lecture 3.2, Arduino Basic Setup. So right here, we're going to talk about how you set up your Arduino environment in the first place. Uh, we'll just go through the basic setup, and uh, we'll have you install the Arduino environment and then run a program just as, as a sanity check to see that you've got it all installed. And you should definitely do this first thing you get your Arduino, you should do this uh, just to make sure that the whole setup is working cleanly. So set up, setting up the Arduino IDE, you want to download it first. So you go to arduino.cc, specifically on uh, that the link that's shown there, arduino.cc slash en slash main slash software, or just go to arduino.cc and at the top there's a download button and it'll get you there. So uh, easiest to run the installer, now I'm using Windows, so say Windows installer, but you can do this on Mac and on Linux as well. So you run the installer. Now that will automatically install all the drivers that you need, specifically the USB driver and other drivers. Drivers are basically uh, software code that runs on your machine to communicate with other devices. Okay, so uh, on your on your desktop laptop, right? So you, it'll have drivers. Any operating system has a set of drivers. So there'll be drivers to talk to the USB port on the Arduino. Uh, so this, if you just run the install, it will automatically, uh, when they ask you, oh, should I install the USB drivers? Yes. <laughs> you know, any drivers that says, okay, okay, okay. So you install those. And actually, this process has gotten much better over the years. It used to be much, you know, erroneous, error-filled, right? But now it, it's pretty clean. Okay, then connect your board to the computer, your Arduino board to the computer. Use the USB cable, connect it. Uh, launch the Ar Arduino application. So start the IDE. However you want to start it, maybe you have a desktop icon, you double click on it, or do a search, find a search for Arduino and double click on it. So you start the IDE with the board connected. Now when you start it, you get the, first you get the image you see on the left. Uh, you're going to get basically an empty screen. Uh, it, it's not completely empty. This one has sort of a, a shell set up in a void, but there's no code inside there, right? It's, they're blank. So you start off with something blank like that, and you can, if you wanted to, you could write code and fill in the blanks, write, your, uh, write all your code right in there. Uh, that's not going to be the first thing you're going to do. First thing you want to do is basically load, uh, upload, a, upload, open a sample problem, a sample file, and run that. Just as a sanity check to see that your whole system's working. Now, the Arduino comes with a whole, a big set of examples, example programs that should work. So uh, I'll advise you to look at the Blink example. So go to a file, go to the file pull down, file examples, basics and Blink, there's a program called Blink, you click on that. Then you'll get the, the image you see on the right, it'll open up the Blink code. Now that's just the beginning of the Blink code, but there's, there's a little bit more of it down there. But it'll open up a new window with the Blink code in it. Now, uh, then what your goal is gonna be is to run that program. You, and what it should do is it should make an LED blink on the Arduino, okay? And then you know, you know, my setup is working correctly. So in order to get to that point where you're gonna run the code, First, you want to make sure that the, Ardu that the machine has recognized your Arduino correctly. Now, this you may not have to do. It may, if you're happy, if you're lucky, it may just, as soon as you plug it in, your OS will detect it and everything will be fine. But here are some checks that you do, uh, typically do, before you actually program. First, select your Arduino, your Arduino board in the Tools board menu. So if you go to Tools and click, uh, go to the board link, it lists a bunch of Arduino boards. Arduino Uno is typically what you're going to be using, but there are many Arduino variants on Arduino board. Arduino Lilypad, Arduino Du Milanov, and all this. So there will be a whole bunch of them, and hopefully, usually, it detects it automatically uh, and it highlights the one that you're using. But it, just in case it didn't, you go in there and you select the one that you're using, Arduino Uno, let's say. Then you want to select your serial port in the Tools Ports menu. Port menu. Serial port, uh, this is... Uh, more detail than we want to get into, but there are these COM ports, uh, communication ports, on any Windows machine. And the Windows machine should, when you plug in an external device, it should automatically map the external device to a particular COM port, uh, whichever one is available, you know, the first one it finds available. So uh, the, if this is working right, there should be, when you look at the tools port menu, there should be one option there. Say COM3 or COM5 or whatever is available, there should be one option, and you select it, okay? And that should be all there is to it. Uh, sometimes there's multiple options, and then uh, the easiest thing to do, there's a way to figure out which one is the right one, but the easiest thing to do is just guess, try one and program it and see what happens. If it fails, try it again. But there should be one option, and you select it. If there's no option, then it's not, then probably the USB uh, drivers are not installed correctly, okay? 
Uh, so then, uh, so then, once it, you selected the, uh, the serial port, then you upload the program. You press the Upload button. Now, you press the Upload button on the IDE. It'll compile the program, checking for errors. And the, the Blink program will have no errors. It'll compile it, and then it will upload it. When it's done, that'll take several seconds, OK? About 10 seconds, let's say. Some lights will blink on the board uh, quickly. And then they should stop blinking, and it should be programmed. And you should see a little message that says, Done Uploading. When that happens, as soon as it happens, the Arduino will start executing the program, as soon as it's done programming, done uploading. So it, uh, and what should happen is there's an LED pin on the board next to the uh, pin 13, digital pin 13, and it should start blinking once every second. And uh, if that happens, then you know that your install is right and everything's working. So you should do that as soon as you get your stuff. Thank you. Mm -hmm.